Hi everyone, welcome back to my next video. We are going to continue our review and evaluation of the ACP 200 Max. Uh, that was a really quick turnaround and they solved some of the main problems, or we hope they solved some of the main problems the original one had. To my mind, the biggest problem was the fact that you had to buy three solar panels to be able to charge it at all. That just didn't, that was going to be really hard for a lot of people. So uh, they claim to have fixed that and we're going to test it right now. It should be able to work with any brand of solar panel and I just happen to have, I'm testing this for something else. This is a Renogy folding flexible panel that I'm testing and I happen to have it here. So I want to see if a single 100 watt panel will charge this. Now that's not enough. This is a huge battery and when the single 100 isn't going to be enough. But if it's what you have, that's where you should start. And then you should start adding panels in series uh, as you get them, as you have the money. But you got to start with what you have. And if you have two 100s, you want to be able that to be able to work for you. So let's see if it works. This is plugged in and these are standard MC4 connectors. And you always want to make sure that you buy a panel with MC4 connectors. And because uh, they're so simple and they're universal, uh, you connect, you plug in the cord and then you put in your MC4s. Any MC4 panel supposedly will work. Let's find out. <laughs> so if you remember, the big problem with the old one is you could not charge it with a single panel. What we have here is a single 200 watt Blue Eddy panel and we've connected it and it is charging it at 161 watts. Uh, and it'll jump around a bit, 161, 166 the uh, shade goes across and of course it'll drop and you can watch it do that on the on the display. So but this will charge it and that does solve the problem of only being able to charge with three panels and not just one because all it takes to to charge is 10 volts and all panels at all times will put out 10 volts unless there's just you know no sun in the dark they don't but and if there's sun it'll put out a, more, a much more than 10 volts. So any panel, one panel, will now charge this. And that is a really, really good thing. So right now, we're not, uh, we, this hasn't been plugged in. Now we're gonna plug in the, um, the other uh, battery and see what we can learn about it, charging it. So I just plugged it in. And now this has the five uh, green lights on it that says 20, 40, 60, 80, 100%. And now they're blinking. So I know it's being charged. And Okay, so it's kind of a cloudy day and the sun's going in and out of clouds. So to a little, to small degree, we're having problems with that. But um, what it's doing is it's prior prioritizing the, uh, the battery in the, the main unit. And when the sun kind of goes back, uh, then it stops charging. I told you it has five lights here for the different percentages. And while I've got full sun, the percentages that is charging blink green and the others are solid, meaning they're completely full. And then when the sun goes behind the clouds, they will stop blinking. And what that's telling me is it prioritizes the main battery. And then when it's got full sun, then it's going back down and putting power into the, the battery, the external battery, which is good because I'd like this to be completely full first um, and then this to be uh, powered afterwards. So as of right now, everything seems to be working perfectly off one single panel. Now I want to, just to be sure, I want to hook it up to an external uh, non-Blue Eddy 100 watt panel and I happen to have one. We're gonna try it next. I happen to have this uh, Renogy flexible panel here and it's MC4 connectors and I'm, I'm uh, doing a video test with it on another video. Uh, and I plugged it in and it charges just fine. Now you can start with one 100 watt panel. You can add as many as you want you can go up to 900 watts, and that's just fantastic. Uh, next, I have uh, three of the 200 watt Blue Eddy panels. Let's plug them all in and see how that works. I'm sure it'll work just fine, but between that's 600 watts total, I think it'll just charge this thing up really, really fast. Today's kind of, as you probably can tell, the sun's going in and out, and it's not a great day to test it, but I bet it will charge this thing up really, really fast. Let's find out. I have three of the 200 watt Blue Eddy panels here. They're all connected in series and going in and now is charging at around 500, 520 watts. We do have haze and so 
with with some haze, it'll it'll go up and down between 450 and 520. And I also have the extra battery charged in, and it shows as it is charging off of this. And I don't I really understand what how it does in the prioritization. Maybe we'll figure that out over time. But right now, these three panels are working great. So we've charged it with just one panel and with all three panels, and it's working uh, just fine, just the way it's supposed to. And we'll also then now go ahead and test the other charging sources as well. So here you can see I am charging the Blue Eddy, the AC200P Max, off of my solar. I have a lot of solar, so I could easily keep this charge just directly off my solar. The, the power brick is just plugged into my extension cord and then goes in to the side. And here in the top right, you can see it's charging at 472 watts. So this is a 500 watt charger uh, and it's putting in close to its max at 70, per, the battery's at 69%. And at 69%, it's not taking 100% full charge, just slightly below a full charge. But at 472 watts, it will charge very, very fast. I wanted to point this out to you. This is just standard 10 gauge cable. It's a duplex cable. That means that the two positive neg negative cables are encased in a third cable. So uh, that makes it a duplex cable and that makes it a lot easier to handle rather than to have the two, the separate ones that you're always winding up. And I really like these duplex cables. This is a heavy duty one. It's UV rated. The sun isn't going to damage it. And there's 50 feet of it. That means with your, you're in the shade, you can run these out a long ways. And that's such a big deal because that's the one problem with uh, solar power is you have gotta park in the sun if it's on the roof. The great, the biggest advantage uh, of all of having the external panels out on the ground is that you can park in the shade. So this is gonna conclude our first day of testing. As you can see, the sun is low and, and hitting me pretty much straight in the face. This has been plugged in for five hours and it started the uh, the uh, max, the AC 200P max started at 55% power, and the battery bank, extra battery, started at between somewhere between 40 and 50. My guess is about 50%. So after being charged for five hours, and again, the very hit and miss sun. Right now it's mostly blue skies, so it's good now. But most of the day it was very hit and miss. It the uh, the extra battery is at 100%, and this is at 90%. So five hours, really hit and miss sun, and it's almost full. So I'm really, really impressed with that. If you can afford both of these units and the three batter, the uh, three solar panels from Blue Eddy, these are the 200 waters, you have got an incredible solar power system. So tomorrow we'll continue. We'll do some more tests, see how it goes, and uh, give you our final verdict coming up soon. So you get all the great features you got with the original AC200P. One of them that I love the most is having two of these wireless chargers. You just put your phone on there and it starts charging it just fine. And I've used both of them at once for different wireless devices and it works great. It charges fast and I really like that. So just to show you that the, um, the AC200P Max will run my microwave, you can see here it is and it's on see it's on and it's plugged in so now it's on for three minutes and it's got 1514 watts going out 1499 1503 you can see here pretty plainly what it's drawing uh, right at 1500 watts going up and down slightly above and below it. We started at 73% and now we're down to 70 and I think it'll bounce right back. You can see as it goes along it's dropping down. It's dropped 100 watts since I first turned it on. Okay, so it dropped 4%. That was a, a three minute cook uh, and it went from 73% to 69%. It's dropped to zero of course because uh, it's not pulling anything. But it easily runs the microwave and uh, doesn't have an enormous impact on it. So we're using the um, Instapot 
on the Blue Eddy and you can see it is drawing 690 watts. The Blue Eddy people were really kind and sent this to me, but you know, I don't need it. I don't uh, have room for it. I have my own solar system and so I don't know what to do with it. I asked them, can we, uh, we being Homes on Wheels Alliance, the 501c3, that's serving the community so well, can we, how a sweep, offer this as a sweepstakes to the community? And they generously said yes. We would be glad if that supported Howa and someone in the community got it and was blessed by it. So uh, this is going to be available to every, anyone in the community who enters the sweepstakes. And the sweepstakes will be up and available on the homesonwheelsalliance.org website. You can go there and you can purchase tickets for it. And then by the purchasing of the tickets, you support Howa or no purchase is required. You don't have to buy tickets to enter the sweepstakes. So just go to the Homes on Wheels Alliance page and you'll find the sweepstakes there. And uh, you can purchase tickets or you can, you can enter with no purchase necessary. Just follow the instructions you find there. And maybe you too can win this. You will be very, very glad if you win this. It's really fantastic. So we've had some time with them and we've looked these over. Let me give you my conclusions on the AC200P and the Battery Pack 230. They're fantastic units. This solves all the problems of the original by allowing you to use any size uh, solar panel that you have, any number of solar panels, up to 900 watts. That's fantastic. This thing charges so fast on 600 watts so that you can get this thing recharged in a day, no problem. Even with that 2,048 watt hour battery, uh, that's 170 amp hours, that's enormous. Uh, if you are a power user, this is probably enough for you. Another big step forward is the addition of the, um, the 30 amp service. I think that's fantastic. If you have an RV, this will serve you really well. Or if you have a home and you can wire it to, for a 30 amp service and you want to just keep this on hand for your off-grid cabin or your, uh, your prepper and you want to keep ready for when power goes out, this is a fantastic choice. In both of those cases, it might not be big enough for an RV or for an off-grid cabin, and that's where the battery pack comes in. You can add a second battery pack and even a third battery pack. Mm. That gives you 171 amp hours with just the unit. You can go to 341, and then you can jump up to 512 amp hours. And that's a lot because they're life full four. They'll have 3,500 life cycles, and you can go 80% down on each cycle. That is a huge, huge amount of power. Uh, I think you're going to find that more than enough for nearly everyone. Uh, it's just fantastic. Yeah. Now, let me compare it to its main competition, which is the Jackery uh, 1500 or the new Echo Flow Delta. Neither one of those use Life Pro 4 batteries. You should not buy them. They're not worth the money. The, the uh, Jackery will give you 500 cycles. The, the Echo Flow will give you 800. This will give you 3,500. Simply do not consider buying them. Uh, these, this has every other advantage to them beyond that, but that alone means you should not buy them. 500, spending this kind of money and only getting 500 cycles is just not acceptable. Don't do it. You're throwing your money away. Now, for most of you, this is probably more than you need. You should go down in size and get one of the smaller ones. They have a 700 watt hour one. That's probably gonna serve most of you. You've gotta be a pretty power user using a lot of power before you need this big unit, at, just because of the cost. This is $2,100, uh, this is $1,800, and that's an awful lot of money. You haven't even got solar panels yet. Uh, you've got everything you need but the solar panels, and but then you're buying solar panels and you're going to end up spending a lot of money. Now, my recommendation for everyone is to install your own system, buy the kind of components that you can afford. You know, if you're buying top quality, then you're gonna spend this much or more for if you build your own system. Uh, and if you are going to go for a good medium quality system like Renogy, which will last you a very, very long time, you can save a lot of money, but you have to do it all yourself or you have to pay someone to do it. And by you, the time you pay someone to do it, you will probably have spent as much or more than you're going to spend on this or, or one of the smaller uh, 
the smaller battery stations like the like the 700. So which one you only you can decide which one's best for you. For a lot of you it's the simplicity and the convenience of buying one of these. And if you're going to buy one of these it should be a Blue Eddy. Right now they have the best on the market. Bar none. They're the best. Uh, and if you need a big powerful one this is it. They always have uh, sales going on. Watch for a sale. Get it on sale. And um, I don't Personally, if I were going to buy a, sec uh, a battery, I would just buy a second one of these. You get the exact same size battery, but you get everything else, and it's only $400 more. And to my mind, I think I'd have rather have the redundancy. You can't connect them together. They won't charge each other. When they're connected together by the cable, they do, this does charge both, and that is very handy. Um, but to my mind, uh, I would still buy two of these, but that's just only what I think. That isn't, you know, you have to decide what's best for you, and I'm not telling you what's best for you because I don't know. Um, at any rate, I can tell you this is very high quality equipment. It works great. Uh, you'll be glad you bought it. Just don't spend more money than you can afford. That's my only recommendation. Money in the bank is always worth more, and a savings account is always worth more than the latest and the greatest and the best. Uh, that's still always my advice. So if you're looking for a station, buy Blue Eddy, buy the size that works best for you, and I think uh, I think you'll be very very happy. So if you got anything out of this video, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later.